You look different. I look different in what yes. way? I don't know. You look younger. Thank you. What have I you done? I'm going backwards. I know, I know, but how? Have you know. stepped into the dark side? <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, have you, like, had facial treatments or something? No. Are you I'm, sure? Yeah. I, I don't think I could do that. Oh, what, you couldn't, like, have a facial or no. have a bit of Botox or... No. no? Have so you had a haircut? my face. No. You look really young. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's a compliment. <laughs> I'm trying to think what it is. Really, there really isn't anything. Oh, okay. Well, you just maybe you just slept well. No, I'm knackered. Are you? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Yes. Why are you so tired? Had a big day yesterday in London. Right. Oh, you don't go to London very often. No, I I should go. I should go more often. We had a great time. Um, what did you do? We walked around a lot, which is what you end up doing. Mm. Um, saw some amazing things. Saw a tourist, you won't believe this, saw a tourist taking a photo with a camera. Not a phone, a camera. <laughs> Were they Chinese? Japanese? I don't think so. Because you see them a lot in London, but they had an actual proper, like, big a camera. camera. No, wow. a little one, a little compact one. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, oh, that's an odd photo. Because, you know, I'm like, you're not a phone. <laughs> it was a what? camera. Oh. Yeah. Did so, you take a photo for them? No. What of? What? I do that in London. Like if I go out and I see like a group of people, you know, sometimes you get a couple and they really want a photo and they're trying to do the whole selfie thing and it's not working and they miss out the bit in the background. So I'll quite often say, oh, do you want me to take the photo for you? Well, I have the opposite because I like the selfie. I'm very good at the selfie. Yes. Yeah. And I'll be busy lining up the selfie. I'll be like, you know, getting that thing and framing it and whatever. And then someone goes, would you like me to take that? No, I'm <laughs> nearly there. Oh, and then I have to start again, work it all out again. Uh, no, I don't like, I like being in control, I think. Yeah. yeah, but you would be in control. You'd be helping someone else out though. Because you do get that a lot. Oh, if I the took their picture. Yeah. I guarantee if somebody said to me, can I take your picture? And they would take the picture. They wouldn't take a picture anywhere near as good as the one I could take. Fair enough. Because you're always very small in it. They go, they'll step back, and you're like, you're like, just get a bit closer, frame it properly, will you? They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> no, they don't. No. And you're looking at you, oh, thanks. Yeah. And then that's it. You, and if it's like a touristy place, you can't move away because you wanted a picture with that background. Mm -hmm. You have to. You want them to go, and they won't go. And then they oh. expect well, you to do one of them. And no, stop it. Let okay. me get on with it. If I'm taking a <laughs> selfie, leave me alone. Okay, fair yes. enough. Uh, we went to uh, the Tate Modern. I've heard of this. What is it? You've not been. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Tate Modern. It's one of the major galleries, museums in London. It's one of the best, actually. Is it an art gallery? Yes. Okay. Who's yeah. there? What do you mean, who's there? The artists aren't... You mean, whose work is there? Yeah? Yes, yeah. yeah the, artists, you... <laughs> the artists don't stand there like they're selling them. <laughs> well, they do in some places. Like if you not, go to little art tape. galleries, you yes. can you can actually meet the artists and they explain. I quite I find it fascinating to see them explain what but their pictures mean, because sometimes with art you just don't get it. Well, a lot of them are written up. You know, uh, uh, there was a really good Picasso. Oh wow! Uh, there, no, there were quite a few Picasso. Pesca, Pesca, <laughs> Pescasco. Yeah, it's a new quite coffee. a few, quite a few <laughs> pistachios. Um, no, there was one and it was like really dark. And you know how they're all faces are pointing the wrong way and everything. You've seen yeah. Picasso? Yes, yeah. Here. It's not the one that I thought. I thought Picasso was the dot one, you know, with the picture, with the, they do a lot of landscape and they have like, he does it with dots. Who's that? Uh, not Picasso. No, someone famous though. With dot, Ken Doan? No. No, no. Dots. Okay, I'll think about it. Yeah, it's like he paints with with um, a small paintbrush and everything's dots. And then it all kind of looks like... Very clever. I did it for my G art GCSE. There was a lot of it there did look like GCSE art. <laughs> no, it? a lot of it. It was just rubbish. I mean, oh. you get that. That's, you know... There'd be like so, a frame with just a grey frame and you'd like, is that the art or 
is that where something's going to go? <laughs> you don't know. No. And there was one, I'm not kidding. It was air conditioning ductwork. And that what? was... It was and it was just ductwork. It was a, like a a, a bend of ductwork. No. Real, and it was and I'm thinking, hey, I used to be. I thought I used to be an air conditioning engineer. Turns out, I used to be an artist. <laughs> no, there's there was a couple of Picassos. There was one, and they do explain. There's a thing. It was like, it was like three people. There's this like a figure in the middle, and she was having a great time with her arms in the air. I mean, her face was all over the place, but she was having a great time. Her arms were in the air, and then there was a there was a like a really sad guy kind of looking at her, and there was another guy who was like really just you know twisted out bent and twisted out of shape and it was really dark and whatever and explained that this was to depict the the three-way relationship the triangular relationship if you know what i'm saying oh really Where she was like not caring yeah oh. come on fellas and her original partner committed suicide over the whole thing <gasps> Yeah, so, but that's the thing with, my definition of art is mm. if it makes you feel something, it's art. Yeah. So a car can be art or a goal. It, you know, if, if a footballer scores a goal, it's art. As long as you feel something, it's art. Yeah. And so with, with this kind of art, the artist is trying to communicate the emotion not necessarily an accurate depiction of what happened or what he saw. Yes. And that's what makes it so cool. And that's it, clever. Yeah. Because yeah, but you, you and get it doesn't that. always work. It doesn't always work. For you know, there was some stuff there that I thought was rubbish mm. and some stuff I thought that was really kind of yeah, I I get what he's trying there's there was one of an Australian landscape and it doesn't look like what an Australian landscape looks like. But you could feel the size and the heat and you could just feel it, you know, because of the way it was. Mm. Uh, I forget who the, I should know who the artist was on that. I really liked that. Yeah. But then other stuff was rubbish because because it doesn't work for everyone. That's the whole deal with art. That's why it's so. Well, fresh. the thing with art is there's there's good art where you you understand. No, there isn't good and bad. There's just stuff that works for you. It's like it, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So you can't say good and bad. It's not a linear thing. You can't measure it. You can't say that a Turner is better than a Picasso or a Lowry is better than, you know, a, a constable. You can't do that. It's just, does, does it, do you feel yeah, something? Does it make you feel? You... And everybody feels something different. Like, for instance, Lowry, you know, the Lowry of all the people coming out of the factory with the dogs and, you know, Lowry stuff. No, I don't know Lowry. Can you explain the Lowry? Lowry came from Salford um, near Manchester and his stuff has got like chimneys and like there's always like hundreds of little stick figures. You know the song Matchstick Men? Yes. It's about Lowry's paintings. There's always hundreds oh. of little stick figures. Some people see Lowry and they see those Lowry's as like kind of depressing northern industrial, everybody having to go to them. I see them as quite uplifting because everybody's happy. Everybody's working. They're in full employment. They're going to or coming from the factory. There's dogs and kids playing and whatever. I actually find Lowry's uplifting. Mm. But some people find them, the feeling they get is depressing. But that's that's their thing. That's That doesn't make either of us right. It's just... Well, it's like Banksy, from. isn't it? Banksy, yeah. some see it as graffiti and some see yeah. it as art. But he's become an artist since he started doing the graffiti on the walls. Yes, Yes. The awesome, I tell you the art I do like is the one in London on Brick Lane. Have you been have you done the tour of Brick Lane? No, what's that? That's brilliant. Yeah. So that is that's street art. All right, okay. So it, and these guys are super talented, really really talented and each one has a story and it's a story of basically the back streets of London of right. what goes on underground and the underground scene. It's awesome. Well worth going to look at. All oh, right, we'll have to check that out. Because you know, I, I do like seeing the variety. I mean, I seen uh, in uh, in Florence. I saw Michelangelo's David, yes. which I kind of liked. Okay, but I saw Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel in the Vatican, and you know, I'm far from religious. Yeah, but I liked the the the. the See, I found that uplifting and jolly. And some people see it as like, wow, you know, it's God and uh, this is giving life to Adam. And I'm like, I just, it's like, it's quite a jolly cartoon. 
Yeah, but my, they mean something. Those, those, you know, you say there's no, no they, good or bad. They mean, they mean Michelangelo got paid. Yes, yes. And he, but he, he also did art. So he got paid yes. to, to do the art and yes. create it. But I don't for a minute think he was trying to help sell religion. Probably not. No. I really don't. No. It's just, well, the church is just the the best. It's like it's like people who are broadcasters who work for the BBC. Not all of them necessarily believe in what the BBC stands for. But if they're the biggest game in town and they pay the most money, then you do the work for them. It's it's. Uh... Surely they just wanted their chapel to look pretty. No, no, they want a, the Catholic Church. No, it's all part of the religion, isn't it? It's it's yeah. all part of selling. Yeah, marketing. Needs it to look pretty for people to go in there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But they're, they're still bad art. There definitely is bad art. I, you know, the I, ones if, if that you don't like, mean anything. But they don't like, mean anything to you, but somebody else might get some. Somebody might got, got somebody might have got something from that ducting. They might have done. What could they possibly have got from That's that? That's up to them. That's what freedom is about. That's what makes us all so special. Some things move some people. Some stuff doesn't move other people, moves people in a different way. That's what it is. There isn't good, I, and, but there really isn't good and bad art. I still don't get the ones. There was that... stuff there yesterday that I thought was rubbish. That doesn't make it bad. It just means I think it's rubbish. It does nothing for me. You know the ones where they just like get a, a road cone and mm. they stick it in the middle of an empty floor, and you're like, yeah. well, what, what does that represent? Yeah, there was a lot of that. I didn't, didn't do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make no. it bad. Then we could be artists. I tell you, I was. When I was doing duck work, I was an artist. <laughs> the, the stuff like I used to work on in the Tate Modern, what does that tell you? And spookily enough, though, you know how I said how the likes of Picasso, they aren't actually trying to portray something that's real or that's how it looked. Yes. It's, it's how it made the artist feel. One of them, a reclining nude, uh, very accurate, I mean, a uh, nose was over here and a face was over there. When I was single and drinking, pretty sure I woke up with her one morning. <laughs> pretty sure, same girl. Uh huh. How could he have known? It's so clever. <laughs>